Now I will make trusses and it's going to be only basic trusses without detailed substructures to fix the roof. Therefore, a basic representation for preliminary design. I will select line 2, chained geometry method, solid line, and red pen just to highlight in the drawing. Start in the middle, do a pole line. Here I'll type 3 and 50. Intersection on roof and close. Now I'm going to do an offset because truss frames are created by axis. Because keeping here, the frames would be entering in the roof and slab. Considering that I you create bars of 2 centimeters, I can do an offset of 2. It is a grouped element, so I need to click on Suspend Groups. Click on a node. The floating palette appears. I will select Offset All Edges. I move the mouse inside and type 2 centimeters. Now I will select one of the lines, Ctrl U to multiply. I choose drag, distribute minus one. I will make three copies. I click at this first point and at the end. Selecting this upper line, I can press Ctrl key to use trim command. So I can click to cut pressing Ctrl. And after, I will draw diagonal lines. So here I will choose a single line. And after, I will select these lines. I can even group these elements to facilitate other additions. So here I will turn off Suspend Groups and click Group. And Control shift m to mirror a copy. Take a center point as reference. Now I select both sets of 2D lines, go to Design, Design Extras, Truss Maker, and Create Truss. In Truss Maker settings, we have three types of section, Timber, Hollow Section, and Rolled Steel Profile. In Truss Profiles tab, you can see several profile types to be used. I choose a hollow section, rectangular, three centimeters of width, four centimeters of height, and zero point five thickness. You see the cross section in this graphic in attributes. I change pen to 102, keep dot and dash to axis representation, surface I'll put aluminum, and layer arc 4 roof. I'll name as trust 1, save. A message appears. New Trust Maker object has been created on the floor plan. In section, you see that truss is not at the right place. And going to Roof Story, making a selection here, you see that truss 
is not here on this level. When you create a truss, Archicad can place the element in any story, so I need to find out where he is. Going to terrain, underground, ground floor, here is the truss. The element it's always aligned with section line. I'll select, enter in settings, change home story to roof, and zero level to current story that now is roof. Going to section. Now I can see the structure and erase 2D lines. You can look in 3D. Using orbit command, I could navigate under the roof to see the truss. On roof story, I can see the truss now. I will select and drag onto the side. Beside the wall, Control U to multiply. I choose drag, distribute, marking off minus one, six copies. I'll click on this point and copy until the end on the other side. We'll press Shift to keep straight. Now you see these elements, I can select all trusses and send to back. So now it's hidden on floor plan, but still you can see it in section and in 3D window. The same thing I can do at this small part, I can easily copy these elements, Control shift d click here on Offset Edge, you can adjust the pivot line, use it as reference to model the roof. and can select the truss. Control Shift D to copy. So now our roof is done.